If you want to have the best chance of success as a small business owner, and who doesn't, then it's imperative to take good care of your finances. And this doesn't just mean making profit. You need to make it a priority to keep that cash in the bank. It's difficult to grow your small business when you're continually running out of funds. And in this video, I'm gonna share five tips to help you manage your cash flow so you can continue to operate smoothly and plot a roadmap for steady growth. Tip number one, calculate what's called days on hand, money that you've got in hand. Now, most business owners will keep a good eye on their bank statements, make quick decisions about what they can and can't afford. The reality is that there's always going to be costs coming up, expenses that you hadn't anticipated, whether you like it or not. You need to know how long you've got before cash runs out and you close those lights in order to make those informed decisions about what you can buy, what purchases are strictly speaking necessary, and what can actually wait. Days cash on hand refers to how many days your cash will last if you make no more sales. What happens before that pot runs dry? The more days cash on hand you have, the greater is your financial cushion. A couple of weeks will give you a bit of a small buffer, but ideally aim to have about 45 to 60 days cash on hand. Tip number two, keep an eye on your payment terms. When you enter into a new contract with a new customer, they might be a large company, they're gonna have much higher credit payment terms. 60 to 120 days is not that unusual. And you might not be getting that money coming in until several weeks and months after work is carried out. And this could be a major impact and a risk to your cash flow. So keep an eye on those cash flow terms, take deposits when you can, see if you can negotiate a better uh, payment day. It's really important that you agree those terms with clients before you start engaging them, before you start delivering services. On top of that, see how long it takes you to actually collect your money in from those customers. Having something like zero, by the way, as a digital tool can help with that task tremendously. Send reminders out before the payment comes up due. Keep on top of that credit control collection. There's a lot of money buried in those customer accounts. Tip number three, understand the customer concentration. The typical Pareto rules is called 80-20, means that a large proportion of your business may be wrapped up in a few number of clients. Have you invested lots of time in your money in business? Don't let one or two customers that might be big in value dictate and control how you run your company. Your financial fate will be in their hands. If one customer is late paying you, the ripple effect, the knock-on effect, could be devastating for your entire business. So keep an eye on how much you rely on single customers and a small cluster, and make sure you've got a good base, a good diverse mix. Tip number four, show your outflow. Naturally, your vendors want payment as soon as possible, and you may be feel compelled to pay them as promptly as possible. However, you should make sure you honor your credit payment terms here, but in some situations, you need to make sure that especially if cash is proving to be challenging, talk to your suppliers, don't disrupt and damage those relationships, and make sure you take the days of credit that you agree with them at the beginning. If things become very challenging, negotiate, talk to them, a couple of extra days will give you that little financial buffer. So as a bare minimum, if you can, do not pay sooner than those credit terms that you've established with the supplier at the beginning. Number five, build relationships with those lenders. It's far easier to borrow when the going is good, much more difficult and challenging when your back is against the wall. This will usually result in high rates of interest. The lender will see you as a high risk. So it's a good idea to make sure you have a line of credit in the backing to back you up. If you need to use that business credit card, you have a sufficient limit on that. Making connections lenders on earlier in your business life may be a slightly different way with the online world, but it's still worthwhile doing to tap into those lines of credit if you need to. Remember, whoever has the control of the purse strings dictates the rules. So what can we say in summary? A healthy cash flow and an ample reserve, typically 45 to 60 days, is the backbone of any business. It provides stability and security and financial freedom. It gives you the maximum opportunity for growth. Perhaps even more importantly, good cash flow management gives you that. Peace of mind, so you don't have those worrying late nights thinking, can you pay your staff tomorrow? Can you pay your suppliers? We don't want that stress and anxiety for you. 
folks, check out the show notes for a link to more resources. Check out the show notes for a link to BudgetWiz, a fantastic online planning tool that can help you with your cash flow planning and take advantage of those tips. Until next time, folks, happy cash flow forecasting. <laughs>